Hi, Bob with Knives Town here. I'd like to uh, do a review for you today on the Leatherman Juice Multi-Tool. Uh, this particular model I have here is uh, it's one of the Juice Juice lineup. Uh, it's uh, it's a, it has blue handles, uh, blue scales on it, and you can get different colors. Um, but uh, this particular model that I have here, uh, it, it has 14 tools. Uh, that would be a knife, a saw, three flathead screwdrivers, a scissors, an awl, a sewing needle, a Phillips screwdriver, a lanyard hole, uh, which is right here. I don't know if that really counts as a tool or not, but they count it as one. Uh, pliers, wire cutter, corkscrew, bottle opener, can opener. Uh, that's, you know, even no matter what you think of the lanyard hole as a tool, that's still quite a bit of tools uh, packed in this, in this very small little little handful of a, of a, of a multi-tool. Um, let's, uh, you know, I mean, Leatherman tools are, uh, are among the best multi-tools you can buy. There's a lot of multi-tools out there on the market now, uh, but Leatherman really started the multi-tool craze uh, back in the 80s. Uh, Tim Leatherman is the one that invented it. And uh, yes, I suppose you could make an argument to say that, that the Swiss Army knife was the original multi-tool. And, and it was, um, but uh, what Leatherman did was he, he, he made the tool more on a, uh, a pliers based format as opposed to a pocket knife format, which the Swiss Army knife is. Uh, both, both excellent multi-tools, but uh, in this case I'm looking at the, uh, the Leatherman. Uh, here it is, this is how it's opened uh, for, for, the, for the pliers, as you can see I just, I just opened that up like that. It opens very easily to, to make needle nose pliers. Uh, those pliers are very, that's, that is a very good f hard working pair of pliers. That's, that's, you know, that's a real tool. That's a real working tool. Um, let's see if we can get a little closer here. There's the wire cutter in there. It has a regular, it's needle nose and then there's the claw, the regular claw, and then down in there is wire cutters. Um, on the inside here, we have here we have the flatheads, the flathead uh, screw screwdrivers. There's three. Um, there's three: the small, medium, and large, uh, tiny. And and these two here, actually, uh, in my opinion, uh, could can double as chisels in a pinch, uh, because they are, if you can see, they are shaped like that third one is not. Um, if you needed to do some very fine chisel detail work, that would work because there is actually an edge on that. Um, but it would. Uh, but they are also flathead screwdrivers for for small, medium, and then a full size flathead right there. And and just like the pliers, those are real, real using tools. Those are. They're not just there for show. They really work well. On this side, um, we have the lanyard hole. <laughs> there you go. That can be folded into the handle if you don't want to use it. Uh, then we also have a full-size plier, uh, Phillips, Phillips screwdriver. Get that lanyard hole in there. That's a full-size full Phillips screwdriver. And that's, those are the tools on the, on the inside. On the outside, we'll close it up and look at what we've got on the outside. We have here we have a pair of scissors. And that is that is a really a that is a real using pair of scissors. That works and that'll do any kind of scissor cutting chore you need. That that's a real good pair of scissors. It really works well. Uh, on, uh, on the other side we have the uh, the can opener, as you know, that that hooks, that hooks. This hooks on the bottom lip of the can, and then this part pokes the hole in, and you work around. Uh, or it's a cap lifter, um, and uh, then we have the uh, the corkscrew, corkscrew there. Now this this particular model here, it's it's made so that it's uh, not just your typical corkscrew where you would you would where you're just you're just yanking like this on the bottle. Um, this, this is more like a, like a, a waiter's corkscrew. 
Uh, what, what, what one would do is twist this into the cork like so, and then, and then here, this tool, if you can see, has a little indentation there at the top. That's, that's to go around the rim of the bottle, on the, on the shoulder of the bottle. And so, so that's bent down like so, like that. Pretend my finger is the bottle. And then, and then it's... Yeah, let me get this for you. I'm not doing a very good job here, but pretend that this is the... There we go. And then it's pulled like that, see? I, I did that okay. I think you get the idea. It's just a better form of leverage than, than just yanking it like that. Uh, it works very well. So that somebody was really thinking there. Uh, on the other side, we have a knife. It opens with a nail nick. And that's a good working knife. And on the other side, we have the awl or leather punch, and there is a sewing eye in there, uh, which can be used, I suppose, in the, uh, for emergency uh, field sewing of maybe repairing a tent, or um, or you can use the leather punch to put a new hole in your belt, or so many uses. Uh, then there's also also here a saw, and. Believe me when I tell you that is a sharp saw. That has a, uh, a, a pattern, a double pattern of uh, short tooth, long tooth, short tooth, long tooth pattern. And that you would be surprised at, the, at, the, at what you can saw with that. That is a very sharp ripping saw. So that goes in like that. And that is... Uh, the overall length is 3.2 inches. It's all solid stainless steel, with the exception of the blue scales, which are anodized aluminum. And it comes with a 25-year warranty. So I think, uh, I think they're pretty confident in their product. And uh, from what I have experienced, I would agree. It's a very, very good tool. All right. Well, thanks a lot for watching. See you again.